what do you guys know about Al Capone from pop culture? His favorite gun was a Tommy gun. Okay. He starred in uh, the film Scarface and also Carlito's Way and later <laughs> Heat. Oh, I thought we were talking about Al Pacino. How he like kidnapped a bunch of jazz musicians at one point for his birthday and made them play for like three days straight at his thing. None of them wanted to come. He like kidnapped them. So play. And they played for three Fuck. days fucking straight. Yeah. He's friends All with right. Louis Armstrong. I don't like the kidnap part, but do I love Al Capone? You might. Al Capone's kind of He cool. kind of fucking rocks. You could probably love him now and not get canceled. Share something real quick. Sure. So I looked up Mafalda Capone to just see if she was his... Un unsavory as people were saying and yeah. she's not i don't i don't get the hate but look at the fucking guy she married do you see those goddamn <laughs> eyebrows she, she just looks like an italian woman okay this is her wedding photos go find more photos of my father you can't it's just her wedding photos she she's, looks fine this is like this is when she's old like she's just like a middle-aged woman there that's not even bad like it's grainy as shit that is an average-looking woman. Picture also picture. an average-looking Italian woman. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, but an average-looking yeah, Italian woman is like a is ugly. two to it's every ugly. other. <laughs> you said average-looking uh, Italian woman. You might as well call it feel... Imagine getting syphilis when there's no cure for syphilis. And you're, you know your husband's out banging fucking hookers and stuff like that. And you're just like, whatever, that's my that's my man. <laughs> 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 It was probably like, hey, I'm going to be your man or I'm going to fucking kill you. No, don't call him Scarface. <laughs> Some dude with two broken arms and a typewriter. Big, dumb, bitchy, <laughs> Scarface, scarry, hatchet, fucking mug, <laughs> motherfucker goes to jail. <laughs> he started, he was such a well-dressed man that he earned a new nickname that he liked while he was in Chicago. When they called him Snorky, which means well-dressed man. Isn't that a great name? Mm, I feel like that meant something else. Like what? It sounds like something, you know, uh, homosexual. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, he overheard it. Look at that fucking yellow suit. Look, he's looking a little snorky today. And he's like, <laughs> comes up behind him. He's like, what's that mean? And they're like, ah, it just means you're so well-dressed, Al. <laughs> so Al goes to City Hall, and beats the shit out of the mayor of Cicero in front of City Hall. No one stopped that, him. The way that I would want to do that, like, or just, like, see that happen in modern-day America, that's so sick. She sets on a place called the Lexington Hotel. The Lexington, he made bulletproof everything. Like, everything. The back of his chair was bulletproof. Dude, that was a snork fortress. <laughs> Missed opportunity. He should have called a yeah. smart fortress. I like that. I think he did in private. I think we all know he did. <laughs> Just to save face, they were like, no, Al, that means you're gay. Never mind. <laughs> like, it's the Lexington, everybody. 